So you might be in this weird situation where for some reason your iPhone is telling you that it's basically unavailable. And it can be unavailable for a certain amount of time. Now this can be scary and this can be very very random. Now this can happen for a few different reasons. But the first thing you want to see is that if it gives you a time or a little timeline where it says iPhone unavailable try again in X amount of minutes, what I would recommend doing is just waiting those certain amount of minutes. So I wouldn't even just you know rush into upgrading your phone or doing anything crazy. Just give it a little bit of time for it. It can take up to an hour and then see what your panel says after. If it tells you, you know, that, you know, you can log in as you normally would or if anything like that, then you should be okay. And then your phone just had a little glitch. Sometimes people are trying to log into your phone and it doesn't, you know, end up happening. So if that ends up being the case, then that's probably all you're going to have to do. Now, if for some reason it's still saying unavailable for many, many hours and it's not working at all, well, what Apple recommends you to do basically for the most part, if we take a look at their own website, it says if you see an iPhone or iPad unavailable message or security lockout screen, it basically tells you that you can basically go ahead and, you know, instead of having an iPhone that isn't useful, you can go ahead and reset your iPhone. So they say that if your iPhone is running whatever version of software, what you can do and what you can try doing is to reset and erase your iPhone. So if you take a look at this specific message, it tells you right here that there is a little erase iPhone option at the bottom. So what you can actually do is you should be able to go ahead and just click on erase iPhone. And that is basically an option that you have. You can go and click on erase iPhone and it's going to prompt you and it's going to put you basically through the panel of resetting and erasing everything on your iPhone. So now what you can do is you can basically go through your normal setup. You can delete everything on your iPhone and you can still use your iPhone as you normally would. It just sucks though because most of your stuff is going to be deleted. But that is basically the only option that we kind of have if for some reason you're getting this type of pop-up. So in terms of that, that's pretty much how it's done. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would me so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.